it's come that time again. You have your data frame and you want to iterate over the rows of that data frame. Now, there are many ways to do this. We're going to step through uh, a couple options, five options, and we're going to look at the ones that are recommended first and the ones I think you should only use as a last resort. Okay. Now, before we start, I want to look at a chart. Now, this chart is going to show how I feel about iterating over rows. Now, there's five different methods to do this. The one that I least recommend is going to be data frame I lock. We'll go through this uh, in the tutorial. And the one that I do recommend, which is right in the sweet spot, is going to be when you use data frame dot apply. So let's see what each one of these looks like. First, we're going to import pandas as PD. And then what I'm going to do is I'm first going to create our data frame. Now this data frame is just going to be a list of restaurants in San Francisco. Now let me zoom in here. And then what we'll do first is let's go through the first method. And this is when we're going to use data frame dot apply. And so I'm going to do a data frame dot apply. We have a separate tutorial on this if you want to go check it out. And I'm going to pass a Lambda function where I'm simply just going to print uh, the name and average bill. Go ahead and run this. And what you get here is you get your name and average bill because we've run through each one of these individual rows within our data frame above. Okay. The next method you could do is iter rows. And so what this is actually going to do is it's um, iter rows here is actually a generator. So that means that you can go through it um, at, at kind of like an iterable. And here it's going to output two things. The first is going to be the index. The second is going to be the contents. So what I'm first going to do is I'm first going to print the index and then I'm going to pull from the context or contents. I'm going to pull the name and I'm going to pull the average bill. So I'm basically using a for loop to go through each one of these different rows. Uh, the next thing that you could do is you could actually use uh, iter tuples. And what iter tuples does is it will go through each row and it's going to return to you a tuple. But this is going to be a named tuple, which is part of the Python collections package or module. And what this means is that you're going to get a tuple returned to you. However, notice how each data point has a name with it. So then what you can do is you can actually call this data point. In this example, I'm calling the row dot name and printing this. And it's going to print out the name with the name field within the tuple that you have. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, a bit more of a crude method. And this is when we start to get a bit more, um, we'll call it, uh, we, this is the territory in which we don't recommend. But if you wanted to, you could convert your data frame to a dictionary just like we did right here using the to dict on top of the data frame and then simply just iterate through each one of your uh, rows within the data frame. So here I'm iterating through the data frame, calling out the key and then going through um, and using the key to pull out the name. Cool. So we have our key from our dictionary and then we have actually the dictionary value and then I just pulled out the name. And then the last resort, and this is kind of in case of emergencies, what you can do is you can call uh, iLock on your data frame and actually iter through, iterate through each one. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a range, which is going to be a, a list of numbers basically, and I'm setting it to the length of the data frame. And then what I'm simply going to do is do a for loop and say, hey, when, you know, in fact, let's print this out just on our own real quick. Let's print i. And so if I print I, it's going to say, okay, here's row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, and row six. But then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to call I lock on this, and I'm actually going to pull out each one of the rows. And so it'll go through row zero, row one, row two, and then I'm going to print out the name for each one of those. And you'll see here, it printed out the uh, series. This is basically the row that came out. And then I printed out the name by saying name and calling out from here. Now, this went really quick because we have a small data set. However, this is the least performance efficient method out there for this. Um, well, maybe not the least one, but it's very, very low. And so I would avoid using this, this one altogether. Use uh, data frame dot apply when possible. And that is how you iterate through or multiple methods of how to iterate through rows in pandas.